It's a show about power and accountability and when lack of accountability meets power and there aren't the laws to deal with that, unfortunately, the loopholes will make human beings do terrible things. But uh, as a response to that, it's also about people who appear to be normal, everyday folk living on their own can inspire us and move us and show us that things aren't inevitable, that you can change your life, that you don't have to accept what is handed down to you. And in that sense, it's a feel-good drama as well. Definitely. What's interesting talking to people about it and being part of the drama is that people will say, oh yeah, I think I heard something about that or I knew snippets or bits and bobs. And, you know, the nature of the news is that everything is uncovered as it's uncovered. So people hear bits and bobs. Um, but what this drama hopefully will do is give a whole arc of the experiences of those individuals from start to unfortunately not finish because it's still ongoing. Um, and yeah, I, I, I was aware of bits and bobs. I, I certainly was very shocked by the lengths to which um, people went to protect their brand. I, I can't imagine, I can't imagine lying in court over a brand, but there we are. Um, and also sort of the archaic nature of the laws and how they stretch back um, with the post office. And um, yeah, I, 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 I was just really attracted because I knew that it was such a miscarriage of justice and as soon as they mentioned it to me, I thought, oh yeah, I, I, I want to be a part of that. I'm really looking forward to reading the script. I'm ashamed at how little I knew about this uh, because these people aren't fighting for war and because they are by definition almost unshowy people, they're people who are dependable, people who run businesses on the high street, they don't draw attention to themselves. I think, you know, the success of that in a way meant that I there was a part of me that switched off when their story came onto the onto the news. So I like Monica I knew the broad headline of it, but I didn't know the details of just how extraordinary this crime in plain sight was able to, to take place and I think people will be staggered by what has gone on with the post office I think they'll find it quite extraordinary even at the same time that I think people will also relate to the fact that they we are all victims to a certain extent of a certain kind of corporate culture which just delivers life to us that things have to be this way and this tells the story of people out of despair coming together and rejecting that and coming together as a group and rebelling against a corporation effectively. Joe's the sub postmaster of, um, or was the sub postmaster of um, uh, the post office in South Warnborough in Hampshire. And um, I started off, I think we, the first time I met Joe was at the read through. I think you might have met Alan before that. Well, I certainly spoke to him on the phone. Yeah. Um, it was quite emotional when I met Joe, first of all. And um, yeah, I talked to her at the read through and then emailed, and then it went from sort of what colour was your hair that year to, um, oh, do you mind, would you mind awfully doing a recording of your what's happened to you up until the post office script started? Um, which was really useful because then I had her voice and her, her sort of backstory as well. Tumultuous story that is entirely unbelievably true uh, about injustice and about an, um, a, a dreadful miscarriage of justice that happened to people who live on every high street in the country and one can also expect uh, an inspirational response to that, which continues to this day, it's ongoing. A, uh, a kind of revolt against a corporate culture that is completely wrongly mistreated by some postmasters and some postmistresses up and down the country. So it's a, 
it's a terrible, tragic story that is also has a very inspirational consequence as a result.